And truly unique uh, visual concept in Hokai. How does your yeah. collaborative process uh, with Taya look like? Because the readers think you are making magic, uh, apparently. Right. <laughs> well, so do I. Um, um, and he's a genius and a madman. Um, uh, and the <laughs> best, the best thing about Iron Fist was, I mean, aside from you know, I, I, I got to work with Ed, who is you know one of my dearest friends, and then I got to be very close with David and there's um i think it's maybe the second or the third issue of iron fist there was a page that was scripted and iron fist was going to be on the rooftop of a building and fight some guys and then get moving again so it's just kind of like a little page as he's kind of monologuing you know and wow. david wrote me and ed and said look I, I know what you guys want with this page um can i try something and i, I know where it starts and i know where it ends but i want to do a thing and then we we're like yeah sure go nuts and he did a drawing uh, where the the building was all sort of one image divided into panels with Iron Fist kind of moving through it so that the, the background was one congruent image cut up into panels or whatever. Uh, and it was great. And he sort of went oh, here and he went there and he looped around and then he kind of ran off at the end and and... and I just remember thinking, like, I, I couldn't write that. Hmm. It was such a cool effect. It was such a cool, you can only do this in comics kind of thing. And it's like, oh, I, I, I don't know how to script that. I don't know how to. Yeah. So, you know, so, um, you know, a lot of Hawkeye, you know, we, it, it, it was a lot of trust and a lot of communication between us. And, you know, when I wrote Hawkeye, I, I would frequently write what's called marvel style or plot style scripts i mean they're very elaborate you know um it's not like oh okay he fights a guy it wasn't like that you know it wouldn't, wouldn't be a script page but like there's a scene with with clint and penny when they're in a kitchen and i, I it was like a two-page scene and i wrote the i wrote the the, the script it was like the start of this they're as far apart as they can possibly be and at the end they're about to kiss and here's the dialogue and sort of wrote it like a play and David broke that out on his own and stuff like that. You know, um, we, we worked on a chapter of, of, uh, Brian Bendis's, um, uh, words for pictures book sort of about writing comics, um, where we, you know, but, uh, it, it sort of shows a lot of the process, but as David would say, like, like, well, to really tell that story of how we work together, you'd have to show, you know, all the drafts of the scripts and all of his kind of, drawings and all and then how i like you know he would he letters on the page like he'll do his kind of layout for a page and then he'll letter it and he'll send it back to me and be like all right you got too much shit you gotta clear this up or yeah. here's what it looks like you know and 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 i and i would then rewrite to those balloons and make all right well that sentence needs to be smaller or this we can get rid of this one and all that kind of stuff you know, but David, so David says, like, really, you need to include like all the 480 emails that go back and forth between us, <laughs> you know, because there's a lot of just constant back and forth. You know, it's it's as close, you know, it's uh, um, when I started writing uh, uh, comics with the goal of like, I, I want to do this, like, I want to do this and, and get good at it. Um, I met a guy named Steven Sanders, who's a fantastic artist. We did a graphic novel called Five Fists of Science together we were both students at the same school. Uh, he was in the illustration department and he had a show. Uh, and I remember seeing his work and thinking, I bet that guy wants to do comics. Uh, hmm. We had a mutual friend. Uh, the mutual friend uh, put us in touch and Steven and I got together and decided, yeah, let's try making comics. And we would go to a coffee shop and I would sit across from him and write for him. And he would start to kind of draw and we would just spend hours together working like that you know it, it is sort of it felt like the um maybe the comic book equivalent of being in a garage band you know <laughs> yeah. of, of just noodling around and figuring out how it's going to work you know but it was so beneficial to me to see how an artist thinks and and oh, oh okay that's a huge piece of text i just wrote so that looks like a floating paragraph so you know that it was yeah so there's a lot of back and forth and a lot of trust and a lot of um um you know, 
I don't know what that game is called, but you, you're, you know, but it's just a lot of that, you know, it's a very oh, yeah, yes and, yes and, yes and, you know. We stay genuine, uncensored, and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Iguzo!